Life insurance is not about putting a value on your life. After all, life is priceless. The key purpose of enrolling in a life insurance plan is to provide adequate financial resources to your dependents who can then provide for themselves if you were to meet an untimely death. In this video, we look at how you can calculate the correct life insurance coverage and what factors you need to consider while doing that. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to the ET Money channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates. Let's get started. To understand how to calculate your term insurance requirement, we'll take the example of Akshay, who, like a lot of households, is stretched with his finances and whose untimely death would certainly put his family through many hardships. Akshay is 35 years old and lives with his wife, his parents, and his two children, aged seven and three years. Akshay and his family spend about 60,000 rupees every month, which is totally unavoidable. Additionally, Akshay continues to pay an EMI of 30,000 rupees every month with 70 lakhs of loan still outstanding on his house. Let's look at the five steps Akshay needs to take to calculate his term insurance coverage. Step 1. Factor in your dependents' monthly expenses. Akshay's family monthly expenses are 60,000 rupees, which comes to 7.2 lakhs per year. It is generally recommended to provide coverage at 10 to 15 times of the annual expenses. While this is entirely Akshay's call, in his case, a multiple of 15 is suggested to account for higher inflation on account of rising education costs for his children and the healthcare costs for his parents. At a multiple of 15 times, Akshay's coverage on the basis of future household expenses needs to come to about 1.08 crores. Step 2. Factor in the liabilities. The most difficult situation one can leave their family in is with a pile of debt. Akshay has an outstanding of 70 lakh rupees on his home loan, which is his primary burden that needs to get taken care of. Adding the 70 lakhs to the 1.08 crores takes Akshay's life insurance coverage requirements to 1.78 crores. Step 3. Akshay needs to factor in important life events and goals. Akshay has two young children who have a number of milestones coming up with their education and their marriage. Akshay wants the best for his children and has already set up a monthly SIP of 7,000 rupees to create a corpus of 20 lakhs over the next 15 years to manage their higher studies. His untimely death will put his goals in a limbo and hence it is wise to add this amount to Akshay's life insurance coverage requirements. This takes up Akshay's life insurance requirement to 1.98 crores now. Step 4. Factor in a retirement corpus for your spouse. So far, Akshay has been calculating his life insurance needs on the basis of existential and unavoidable daily expenses, existing liabilities, and future visible needs like his children's education. The last variable to consider here for Akshay is to leave a corpus for his wife, which can grow over time so that she can manage her retirement. Akshay reckons his wife will need at least 80 lakhs in her retirement kitty. This additional 80 lakhs pushes up Akshay's calculation of his ideal life insurance coverage to 2.78 crores now. A useful tip here, as you would have noticed to calculate how much term insurance you need is a science, but it's certainly not an exact science because you're predicting into the future and making a few assumptions. Hence, it is never a bad idea for you to be conservative in your estimates so if you think your family can do with 50,000 rupees in monthly expenses, I suggest you nevertheless estimate 60,000 rupees. And finally, step five, factor in additional variables like your age and your wealth. Your age and your current wealth are also important determinants when calculating your term insurance requirement. Let's start with age. Akshay's term insurance requirement was very high because he has debts, high monthly expenses and four dependents, including young children who have their entire future ahead of them. But if you are in your 20s and not married, then your life insurance requirement is not that high. Similarly, if you are in your 50s with a decent investment portfolio, your children are married and working, then too your life insurance requirement is not going to be too high. Hence, don't forget to factor in your age. Another key factor is your existing wealth. We spoke about factoring liabilities like home loans, credit cards, and other money you owe to others while calculating life insurance coverage. On the other side of your personal balance sheet are the investments that you have made over the years, which can be accessed by your family on account of your demise. These include your provident fund, 
fixed deposits, mutual funds, and even your real estate. Let's assume Akshay has a mutual fund portfolio of 30 lakhs. This money is readily accessible to the family upon his demise, which means he can deduct this amount from his life insurance coverage requirements. So from 2.78 crores, his new life cover requirement is 2.48 crores now. The term insurance requirements exercise we just went through is not an exact science, but should have helped you understand your future priorities and current standings with respect to offering financial stability to your family. Now you can't predict everything, so it is always a good idea to evaluate your term insurance needs every five years to check if your responsibilities and your insurance is on the same track. If you like this video, hit the like button and share this video with your friends. And don't forget to check out the term insurance section on the ET Money app for more information on everything we have discussed in this video.